Okay, all damage in the game, or virtually all damage in the game has been increased and all healing has been reduced. What does Zen do? What happens to that target right now? All damage is amplified on that target. So the amplified damage is now amplified more. So that's step one. In other words, you do that, amplified damage is now amplified again. Secondly, with healing reduced, well, Zen didn't really heal much anyway. Right? But he can heal while he's doing other stuff. And it's AFK healing, right? So it's just healing for free. So that's the second thing, right? The third thing is they've made his left-click orbs and right-click volley more accurate. So not only is his damage amped because of um, his Discord, right? And because everything else is amped for his team. It's also amped for himself. So he hits even more shots. Even more, Zen's kick has been buffed. Now, you say, okay, well, everyone's just regular um, melee attacks have been buffed. But Zen actually uses his quite often with his kick, right? It also provides a boot. And so it helps him deal with flankers even more. Furthermore, Transcendence is about the only ability in the game that can actually do some meaningful healing. So he's literally got the best ultimate in the game because... When your team gets low, he can just get everybody else up to full. And it's really difficult for the enemy team to get everybody else up to full. Next, Zen was always vulnerable to um, having pressure and dives and things on him. And they've increased the amount of health that he gets. And because he's got a regener uh, regenerative shield, he can get that health back without the need for healing. Or at least some of it. So while other people have to have nerfed healing, he just gets a shield back. But Blizzard are completely blind to this. They actually released that and went, you know what, guys? Like, they had a meeting. At some point, they've had a meeting with all these changes. And they went, this is okay. Hey, Alski, how's it going? So sorry, Diva. No, I'm not excited for anything apart from changes to the game. That's two pulse bombs missed this season. It applies for everything. So Moira is affected even more by the uh, DPS passive than most supports because most supports they, it's uh, what healing they receive from other players, right? But Moira, well, four sources of self-sustain are removed by the passive. Let's go! 
Your visor activated. I am running back. Surrender to my will! Big Starlight! 